Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so we uh, had talked about this range at 2150 to 2170 for a while, and um, talking about you know whoever was able to win that range was going to be at a significant advantage for the remainder of the week. Uh, the bulls have broken above the range. They did that late yesterday. They've spent the entire Globex session above the range. They took out last week's high and made a new contract high uh, up in the 2185, 2185 even. Okay. Uh, I got a question last night with regard to the 2191 half that you see over here. Um, and 2191 half is the all time high. That is the highest price that the mini has, has traded. Uh, but that was on the September contract, okay? Um, I use the continuation contract for these webcasts, and I use it when we talk because I think it's helpful to have an overall picture of where the most eyeballs have been on price on each day, and that's always going to be the continuation contract. When you make big, big decisions off front-month contract to front-month contract to front-month contract, price gets kind of convoluted with the roll and everything else. It's a lot simpler uh, for these purposes to use the continuation contract. So you have 91 half here, which is the all-time high. 85 last night was a new contract high. Uh, the old contract high was last week. At 21, uh, 21, well, they did 2180 half. Uh, I'm sorry, the new, the contract high was 2184.25 back on August the 23rd. So we took that out last night. Okay. But what I like to use for these videos is a continuation contract. It's a lot easier. Okay, so excellent question and probably a question that a lot of people had, so I wanted to take some time this morning and answer that. You can always ask me questions. Uh, Mike V at PrincetonTrader.com. Hit me up. Uh, I would love to hear from you. So what happens now that we're above the, that we're above the range? Um, they've got to stay above it. The bulls have got to stay above it. They've got to hold 70 to 72. Now we hop over to the hourly chart, you can see here, here's your new contract highs, but this area here has got to remain support. You've got 72, you've got the daily pivot coming in at like 72.40. So on a test here, and it looks like they do want to test it, you've got to see 70 to 72 hold up. If 70 to 72 hold up, then the bulls by spending the day up here, closing above here, can establish that area now as support, converting resistance to support. Okay. If the bears can break it back below, then the bears immediately need to go after yesterday's low, um, which in the regular session was 61 half, and Globex was 58 half. But even closing back inside the range is a small victory, especially after going up to 85. In order for any sustainable pullback to happen, I firmly believe that the bears are going to need some kind of news. They're going to need a catalyst that's going to fuel the push down and keep it moving. Okay, Not like there aren't any shortage of catalysts around. Don't discount the fact that because yesterday was a quiet day that... Um, that you know everything's fine and we're going to trade in this you know this low volatility environment we were very much due for a regular session like we had yesterday which just kind of moved in a you know you know a 10 handle range and everything was fine and they broke it up at the end of the day but you know it was it was pretty muted we you know look after after all that you're going to get a muted session which is right here, okay? Um, 
But for all intents and purposes, we remain in a very nice trading environment. Uh, I think the push up to 85, you know, really shows what the, the tape can do when it gets going. So the key for today, 70 to 72, what happens on a retest? Does it hold? Does it break? And if it does break, is it a meaningful break? Or is it just an overshoot? And where are we going to close? I'll be, uh, I'm, I'm most in, I, I would really like it to be 4 o'clock right now, 4.15, because I'll be very interested to see where we close today. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us over at Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Come check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.